Welcome to Just The Job, the show that gives you a behind the scenes insight into a huge range of exciting career opportunities. This week, we've got a special program looking at great training and career opportunities in the fashion industry. Hi, I'm Ava. I'm year 12 at St Mary's College and I'm interested in a career in fashion with New Zealand Fashion Tech. We are all surrounded by fashion. The creativity that surrounds the way we dress as an individual, culture or country is what makes us unique. Ava is going to learn about a career in the fashion industry with New Zealand's leading educator in fashion and sewn products, New Zealand Fashion Tech. She's going to visit campuses in Wellington and Auckland and then get a taste of work experience with two leading fashion brands. It's a creative industry, but you've got to be really practical as well. It's a good balance. It's always changing, it's always interesting. Um, there's nothing ever, ever the same. It's a vital industry. And it actually, for all the look of it, that it's a glamorous industry, it's pretty cutthroat and it's pretty, it's a busy industry. Ava has headed first to the New Zealand Fashion Tech Campus in Wellington. Tudor Verena Tilson Scoble Hi. is on hand Welcome to show to her round. Tudor Verena, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Um, let's get started. All right. Both Auckland and Wellington offer three programs. There's garment technology, pattern design, and then an advanced diploma. So what happens in this room here? This is our garment technology class, and this is our first class that the students come to, and they learn how to sew on the industrial machinery, mm -hmm. and so they learn to sew accurately and to time. Cool. And roughly how long does it take to pick up They'll get the knack of the industrial sewing machine. Ah, uh, <laughs> everybody's different. It depends on the person. All instruction is geared to what the fashion industry requires. A thorough knowledge of garment construction and good basic sewing skills that can be confidently undertaken at speed. Here in Wellington, Miriam Gibson is the garment technology course tutor. Keep it controlled for the straight part. Don't lose the plot on the straight part. Hand in close for the back tack. First, there's a rundown on personal safety. Yeah. So the first thing is you just want to tuck your necklace in because we need to just get rid of anything dangly. Long hair is a big no-no and accurate operation of machine pedals is important. So flat shoes are a must too. First, Ava's introduced to an industrial sewing machine. So what happens is we run out of bobbin thread and as you can see my bobbin's empty so I need to change that. So we've already wound a spare bobbin over here. On the course, it's very hands-on. Most people that come to us come because they love to make things, they're very tactile, they love to do things. So we keep the sort of class lessons, as we call them, to a minimum. Mostly it's all about learning by doing. It's more of a workroom environment. Well, no problems for Ava here. Awesome. You're going really well. <laughs> Thank you. Some of the things that the students do in the first part of the class when we're still getting to know each other is they might, they'll do a weaving project where they weave a basket and they do a knitting project where they can knit this little teddy. So a lot of them haven't done this before. And while they sort of think it, it's, it's fun and it's social and it's creative, what the students are actually learning is how woven fabrics and knitted fabrics are constructed. Industrial machines run about five times faster than domestic machines. So there's quite a learning curve here. That's great. Now just a little jiggle. Jiggle, jiggle, just to get you started. It doesn't matter if you stop a little bit. You just want it. You don't want to start off with a surge. That's really good. That's good. Can you feel that? Yeah. Yeah. And so then we bring this hand down to here as you move. So it's spider walking. It's like, you know those little robots you get and their feet go, er, 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 like that? It's yeah. like that, okay? okay? That's what you're going to be like, but it's going to come towards you. Righty, all right. Okay. <laughs> Speed is very important. So we have to constantly be trying to strike that balance between quality and time. There's also an introduction to the spec sheet, the all-important document which records the information about the garment. Measurements, quantities, work minutes required, costs, all relevant facts required to produce a garment commercially. So what's happening is all the students are working through their production workbook, which has all the exercises in it that you need to cover in CGT. They're all at different stages. So you can see over here we've got Saskia is working on her little mini t-shirts, and she's going to be doing 40 of those. And we do 40 so that you can have a lot of practice and get the repetition so you really learn the exercise well. We um, teach our students communication, they work in teams, um, they learn to develop their own um, learning styles, uh, recognise their own learning styles and develop other learning styles. We teach them how to um, present ideas clearly and concisely across to, to uh, other people as well as the technical skills so they're sort of learning all aspects of, of, of their, um, their development and the most successful students comes from the fact that we have an absolute maximum of 17 students for each tutor in a class. 
All right. <laughs> okay, so once you've learned all the basic operations, we put them together into garment construction. So once you've finished your overlocking, you're going to make a t-shirt like this. You learn how to put the rib on and finish that off. You're going to make a shirt. So each garment shows you how we can use different techniques. So, so this is the pattern design area, which is our second course, and the students learn how to draft patterns from the start. They also grade everything they make as well, as well as spec sheet, and they get to sew everything they make as well. Dula Matheos is tutor for the pattern design certificate course. So the first job you're going to do is to make a cover for your set square. Mm -hmm. And Ava's going to use a pattern that she's drawn up to do that. The shape is accurately measured out and then drawn. Then this first draft is transferred to the much stronger pattern card using pinpricks as markers, and the pattern sheet can then be drawn and cut. The second programme certificate of pattern design is teaching all of the skills involved in making patterns for men's, women's and children's patterning, because each of those have different rules. And then all of the design adaptations that are possible, so making a straight skirt into a flared one or a flounced one or gauze or pleats or whatever. OK, so now we're going to um, chalk around and cut it out. Mm -hmm. uh, but you're not going to be using scissors today, we're going to use this thing here. All right. Cutters like this are fast and powerful. They have to be used with steel mesh gloves. Very nice. Well done. It's quite fun. <laughs> The exciting thing about the fashion industry is that there's 97 different jobs that we've actually managed to sort of itemise at the moment. It's such a diverse industry because throughout all the glamour and the shoots and the styling and all the, that sort of presentation, uh, backed up with that is, is the fact that the deadline is next Friday and if this range isn't prepared in time and got to the customer by next Friday, they're going to cancel that order. How's it been going? Really good. Been really interesting. I've learnt so much. Okay, we've got more to show you up in our Auckland campus. Cool. Welcome back to Just the Job. We're joining Ava again now as she discovers more about the New Zealand fashion industry. So it's next to Auckland, where Ava learns about the diploma in fashion tech. The one-year course offers advanced skills in the garment and pattern making areas, provides a lot of background about textile and production technology, and introduces students to computer-aided design. First, Ava joins the diploma students for an idea generation yep. exercise. OK, everybody, today what we're going to do is I'm going to give you a sheet each, and every sheet has a different picture on it. And what you're going to do is look at the picture and draw two designs inspired by the picture. The students have to do this exercise at speed against the clock. We try and make things fun. <laughs> People learn a, a lot easier when things are fun. So um, we play games and we do skits and we do collages um, and we do we do have a fun. It's a it's a fun can be a fun industry. And at the end, everyone gets to discuss the ideas. Any favourites? It's a cool modern corporate mm -hmm. look. I really like the collection with the tree. I think it fits in really nicely together. Yeah. Clothing is a personal expression, um, and more and more in a, in a regimented world, people like to dress for themselves and how they um, like to be. I like the balance of the creativity and the, the sort of structure of the organisation to deliver that creativity on time and to quality. I, I really like that balance, it's good. One highly creative exercise is the Kleenex Cottonelle Paper Dress Challenge. So the diploma students have been challenged to create fabric from toilet tissue and then create beautiful cocktail garments, which then feature in public voting. It's a technically very challenging to create such beautiful garments from toilet tissue. It's all done as if they are um, consulting with a client and the client brief is to create a beautiful, luxurious cocktail garment all in white, but they do it as a technical exercise and the results of, as you will see, are beautiful. Ava's been learning how to create a rose with the tissue. It's the sort of idea that's worked well in the competition. And here's the finished frills. They're looking pretty good, very fluffy. Yeah. <laughs> Diploma students also get to learn about the properties of textiles. For example, what's good for swimwear won't work for lingerie. 
Ava and Verena have headed to Global Fabrics in Auckland to do some research. So if we look at the difference between stretch and woven, so you can see that this is very stretchy. As compared to something like a woven, like this is a wool, this is woven. And then we've got silk, which is a, a natural fibre as well. Soft and... Very elegant. It is. <laughs> <laughs> we also look at the staple and the filament. So we're actually pulling the, the fabric apart and actually looking at the fibre itself. And you can sort of tell by that what kind of fabric it is. So, Ava, you're going to make a T-shirt today. Awesome. So would you like to choose some fabric? Sure. <laughs> Ava's decided she wants a soft, stretchy fabric. Cheerful, but maybe not too colourful. So this is the right kind of stuff. How about this one? That's pretty cool. It's very cool. Yeah. Well, it's quite nice and soft as well. And how much would we need of this? Um, probably about a metre would do. Yeah. The beauty of the fashion industry is that it's very adaptable. Like, it's an industry you can work for yourself, you can work from home, you can run your own business, you can work for other people. It's a very flexible industry. We've had students, so many of them, that have got um, a, a reference from an employer in New Zealand, and they've travelled to parts of the world, and just instantly they can get a job. Because of the high technical skills that they've got, and because it's an industry that's always looking for the brightest and the best people. Back at the college, Ava's looking for a t-shirt pattern. Like most clothing, there's a standard pattern with a standard size. So this is our standard, um, we work with a standard size 12 pattern. Um, what size are you, Ava? Um, I'm a size 10. Size 10. Well, what we could do is we could digitise this into the computer and grade it down a size, and then it would fit you. OK. Fantastic. PAD is the computer-aided design programme that we use. It's That's becoming a more and more popular tool within the fashion industry, and we teach that um, here in Diploma. The program uses a mouse to record the actual coordinates of the pattern and duplicates them on screen. The advantages of using CAD system or any kind of CAD system is it's faster. Um, things can be emailed, so you can email the pattern to China or to wherever, and it's very instant. So now we've got the pattern into the computer and we've told the computer what all the different pattern pieces are called. We can then grade it down to your size, so we can make it a size smaller. And you can see that green, green line that's coming in. With the pattern printed, Ava can now put to the test much of what she's learnt. And don't forget all your notches. <laughs> I like the industry because I think it's a fun industry to be in. And it's a creative industry as well. I like it because it's very fast paced and when things are in one minute and out the next and I really kind of like that. I like that it's changing all the time and it's evolving and even the industry in New Zealand's like constantly, constantly evolving, it's constantly changing and I, I really like that. I like that it's not ever stagnant. <laughs> so what do you think of your t-shirt Ava? It's pretty cool. It's very cool. Very nice and soft. It <laughs> is. It's good fabric. So you get to take that home. You awesome. get to take it away. Great. And you're going to go off and do a little bit of work experience. Ooh. Wow, I didn't know there was so much to fashion design. We'll join Ava again in just a couple of minutes, but first, here's Sarah from Careers New Zealand. Thanks, Clinton. Well, I think Ava's certainly heading for a great career in fashion. But if you have no idea where to start with your own planning, head to the Careers New Zealand website and try out some of our interactive tools at www.careers.govt.nz. You'll find a whole lot of information that'll help get your career planning off to a great start. Cool, thank you, Sarah. We'll join Ava again just after the break when she discovers more about the training opportunities in fashion. You're watching Just The Job, the show that brings you a taste of the huge range of exciting careers that are out there just waiting for you. Let's join Ava again now, who's learning all about a career in fashion. So Ava's off for some work experience with two Auckland designers, Caroline Sills in Devonport and Natalie Chan in Parnell. Natalie's courageous use of colour and exceptional fabrics has found great success. All her clothing is created and designed in-house and made in the workroom above the retail space. Hi, Ava. Yep, that's me. I'm Frances. Welcome to Natalie Chan. Thank you. Um, we've got a meeting upstairs if you'd like to come and join us. Sure. All right, let's go. Frances Packey is a former fashion tech student. She's now working here as a workroom assistant. Hi, I'm Natalie. 
Natalie, nice to nice meet to you. you. This is Linda, Hi. my work room manager. The team are discussing a bridal dress for a client. A sample card of fabric needs to be dispatched. So the cards, everything needs to be stapled on here and then have this all as a pack for them, ready for pickup in half an hour's time. Okay, and then great. a pattern so needs to be graded here. to a larger size. And then make sure that these are the things that I want you to do the marking in. This one for the red for the grain line, the green for the main, and the blue for the lining. So first for um, Ava, first a sample card. And so we need to get a little sample of these three fabrics. Mm -hmm. I'm really enjoying the variety. It's a small workroom, so I get to do a lot of different things. I enjoy working with all these beautiful fabrics. It's a great team, um, and it's really hands-on, which is good, and that's what I came into the industry, was to sew and to pattern make in the hands-on aspect, and that's what I'm doing. Next, it's the pattern grading. First, the pattern is copied. So our first step is to um, go around the outline of it to trace it onto this paper. At Fashion Tech we learn to sew to industry standards. They set a very high standard, which is great for when you enter the industry because you've got a really good skill set. Um, we also learn to pattern make, which is invaluable when you're sewing, just to know how a pattern goes together when you're constructing a garment. Line by line the pattern is replicated, but just a few centimetres wider. The good thing being in the New Zealand fashion industry, I feel, is that because it's such a small industry, everybody gets to know each other. Once you kind of get into the industry, I feel that there's a lot of support um, and there's great networks around it that everybody does help each other and I think that's really great because I think if it's any bigger than that, then there's really not as much support in the industry. Once the duplicated pattern has been cut out, the new larger size can be made. I am learning a lot on the job. Um, I think you are constantly learning, especially um, because we do made to measure here or made to order. Each dress is different and every body is different, so you learn different things with every order that comes through. And we're all cut out. Cool. <laughs> I love the people that I work with. I love the people that is also in the industry as well. You know, when you work with creatives, I also think they're really, really fun. Ava's next off to Devonport. Designer Caroline Sills has a long established place in the fashion industry. Her classic and modern knitwear embraces all ages and is timeless. Production assistant Helen Peard is another former student from Fashion Tech. So this is a really big space up here. What goes on here? Um, upstairs is like our sales area. A lot goes on, so it's sales, media, designing. It's where production is like controlled mainly. So what do you do here? Um, my role is the production assistant. So my I mainly alter patterns, so mm -hmm. they look and fit how the designer wants them to. First job for Ava is to increase the size of some newly designed pants. They're too tight around the legs. Ava's taping extra paper to the pattern so the overall size of the leg is increased. The work experience they get you doing, they put you in places that you really like and that you want to be in. So the confidence that you graduate with makes you more confident to go look for a job. Um, they help you out as well, looking for a job. So, yeah, confidence is huge. <laughs> Before I cut out the pants and fabric, I always look at the spec sheet first. Um, so we need the techno black fabric. And so my role with the production assistant is adapting patterns so they look fit nicely. Um, so the designer will come up with an idea and then We'll have a sample made up and then we fit it with a uh, proper fit model. And then what I do is I take notes on what needs to be changed, design and fit wise, and then I'll take those notes and I'll adapt the pattern to with those notes. So what we've done is the colours around there's not fitting as nicely as we want it to. I then send samples off to machine us to get made up. They come back and we do the whole thing again until it fits right. Um, we have some very high skill technicians here, so it's a very good learning platform for young graduates coming out of um, school. So the more highly educated and skilled they are, of course they are much more adaptable and successful here. 
Back at the workbench, Ava's now finished cutting out the new wider legs and is about to learn how to use the fusing press. So it's very hot. Yep. Um, so you put it in there and it just heats the glow up so it can stick to the fabric. Mm -hmm. And so you leave it in there for about 15 to 20 seconds. And then you take it out. You see it's all stuck together. Oh, it's yeah. made the fabric a bit firmer. I'm finding it really good here. Like I come in every day and I'm motivated. Um, because I'm quite new here, there's still there's always someone there to help me if I need it. So the support here is great. The only way we can be a successful business is making as many of our students as successful as we can. And uh, we have that sort of premise and um, it's done by a combination of encouragement and uh, a little bit of push occasionally, but also making things exciting and interesting for them. And uh, it just makes for a wonderful business and a great industry. From work experience to the campuses in Auckland and Wellington, Ava's time with Fashion Tech has been a great learning curve. Verena's arrived to see how it's all been. So how's your time been with us, Ava? Oh, it's been great. It's been really interesting. I've learned heaps and heaps. And yeah, I've really enjoyed it. Ava's done fantastically with us, with just a short time with us, but she's done, done really well. It's been great. I've been able to work with heaps of really interesting people and learnt so many skills. It's been a really good week. Fashion Tech offers three courses, certificates in both garment technology and pattern design, and a diploma in fashion technology. Fashion Tech are proactive in securing work experience placements. The fashion industry in New Zealand is a vibrant boutique industry. Students who are motivated and have thoroughly learnt the basic skills should have little difficulty securing employment. While well, Ava certainly enjoyed herself finding out about the great careers that can be had in today's fashion industry. To find out more about the training opportunities and careers from this week's show, plus information about all the careers featured in this series, visit our program website tvnz.co.nz slash justthejob or simply Google Just The Job. So best of luck and I'll see you here again next week. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.